Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video tutorial on opening systems based on the trilogy of books. This will be based on the opening tabia book in uh, Master Yang Wenqing and Grandmaster Zhang Qiang's um, book. So without further ado, let us begin. This will be the fifth part. Now, the pawn opening, the thundering cannon, and Red will choose to attack with the central cannon again. Red will counter with the red elephant. Now this would be the uh, move or this opening system for this bot and the next one. So in the earlier bots, in the first two bots, red would play our, uh, h2 plus 3 followed by r1 equals to 2. In the second, uh, third and fourth bot, red would cap capture the central pawn <clears throat> and prevent the cannon, uh, prevent the chariot from moving. Now in this board, Red chooses a very steadfast approach. Uh, he decides to release some of the pressure that the thundering cannon has placed on this elephant by developing his left horse as an edge horse. Now this is also sometimes seen in actual play. Now uh, one of the advantages is that uh, Black's pressure is is diminished greatly, but the entire pace of the uh, opening system would slow down. So, at this point in time, there will be two uh, variations that were discussed. The first would be a ship plus seven, whereby Black will continue to develop his left flank slowly for the single horse defense, and variation B, whereby Black would still opt to play the rank chariot as noted in the previous few boards. In variation A, red, uh, sorry, black plays, develops his left horse as a proper horse. And red would do the same. Now, uh, it is imperative for black to develop his left chariot as a foul chariot because he will be faster in controlling this foul and discourage the uh, red from developing his chariot as a foul chariot. Now, uh, it would not be a good idea to play p7 plus 1 because black would immediately play r1 equals to 2 and this chariot would get some development. So, as can be seen, uh, black's right flank is now under a lot of pressure and red would command the initiative in this situation. So, if by developing his chariot before pushing p7 plus 1, uh, the development of this left chariot, or of this right chariot, sorry, will be a will be a major concern for red. And since black did not push p7 plus 1, red will push p3 plus 1 for the double-headed snake pawns. This will be also another crucial move in this opening system. Okay, uh, on the flip side, we would also have to analyze the what would happen if red played r1 equals to 2 instead. Now because r1 equals to 2 was played after black had developed his left chariot as a foul chariot, black could immediately seize the opportunity to push his cannon across the river for a blockade. Now if red pushed p3 plus 1, now as can be seen, black would use the cannon to capture the edge pawn and this would be a trade of chariots. And with a clever trade of material, Black would have gained some initiative and p continue to power pressure on this flank. Red would have to move his chariot away, and this would spend another move, while Black can now develop his right flank and start attacking this flank. So Black would have seized the initiative uh, and commanded this, the, the, commanded the situation in this <coughs> with these moves. So that is why development of the chariot and the pawn is so crucial. So p3 plus 1 would be the correct move to play if black played r8 and r equals to 8. And black would take the opportunity to develop his left cannon for the three-step tiger. And red would develop his left chariot. And black would continue with a 4 plus 5 to consolidate his position. Now this would be a wait and see approach to see how red would attack and uh, black would try to counter as precisely and as accurately as possible. Now would it be a good idea to patrol the 
real bank at this point. And this would give rise to another rather complicated variation as shown here. So if uh, if red uh, sorry if black chose to develop his chariot to the river bank, red would offer a trade of material, and usually black would uh, black would refuse. So as he could continue to pile pressure up on this flank, red would attack with the horse, and black would be forced to defend in this manner. Now uh, black cannot play r4 plus one to try to show the uh, horse away because red would counter Bellini with c8 plus 2 forcing the pawn, forcing black to capture the pawn and then threaten the other chariot forcing the cannon to be moved and just within a, uh, the span of a few moves uh, red will now charge the horse across the river and this is a very dangerous this would be a very dangerous uh, piece that black cannot neglect now when the horse is at this position black there are many things that we can do he could go forward e6 plus 8 to threaten to capture this chariot and also to go for the elbow horse attack catching uh, to threaten this chariot and if black say for if he played h2 plus 4 uh, he, red could simply choose to treat his horse etc and there will be many 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 options for red to continue to attack with and black will have a hard time trying to deal with uh, the red, red, red's aggression so that is why r4 plus 1 is a definitely no is definitely not advised in this situation. So to prevent the horse from crossing the river, r6 equals to 4 is played. And red will take his time to develop his uh, cannon to protect the horse, preparing to uh, switch formations. Uh, intermediate move to force to prevent or to uh, to prevent the horse from further development. And then red will cut Red would choose to switch his position. Black would try to mount an attack on this flank. Black would have red would have his uh, defenses up ready. And as can be seen at this point in time, uh, red would have the offensive uh, overall of, overall of offensive at this point. Now with this move, elephants are blocked and. Red would be prepared to play R4 plus 3 to attack the chariot and also to capture the elephant. And that is why um, uh, Black would be in trouble and Red would, be, Red would start attacking at this point. So R8 plus 4 would not be a good idea. That is why Black would choose to consolidate his defense with A4 plus 5. But in doing so, the pace of the game has slowed down considerably and it will become a drawing situation. We will tr still try to trade chariots to prevent, to release any pressure. Black Red will try to attack from this file. A blockade. And at this point in time, because Red had pushed both pawns, Red would have the spatial advantage and the development of the black pieces would be uh, uh, black would have some trouble trying to develop his pieces because of the spatial the, the loss of space and the horse are now very active prepared to to go and attack so we would have the advantage in variation a should black develop his left horse as a proper horse so a short recap <laughs> Upon opening, thundering cannon, central cannon, right telephone, and this will be the topic of discussion. And in variation A, H8 plus 7 was played. Uh, very important for Black to develop his chariot as a foul chariot before Red does. And Red should not play R1 equals to 2, or the cannon will go across the river for a blockade. A three step tiger to allow for. Uh, to give this chariot a clear file. <coughs> a, a wait and see approach. And after some 
maneuvering, uh, Red would command a special advantage. So since H8 plus 7 would seem not to be very ideal for black, this would be the recommended uh, variation for black. Black would continue as he did in the previous two bots and try to speed up the development of the pieces. So at this point in time, uh, Red will usually develop his right flank. Now, uh, one might wonder, would it be possible if uh, Red tried to, or if Red captured the central pawn as shown in the third and fourth bot in the series? A check. Now, uh, with this move, Red tries to slow down the development of this chariot and also allow him to allow his uh, elephants to be linked at the center. Uh, Black will continue to move his chariot. As mentioned before, by capturing the central pawn, this cannon will become a, often be a, be uh, become a target of attack. Retreating, charging the pawn forward. And after a few moves, uh, Black could have developed his pieces very nicely. This pawn would have nowhere to go, and Black could now be prepared to attack in all sorts of uh, in all sorts of manner. So Black can be satisfied with his opening, and that is why C5 plus 4 would not seem to be a viable option at this point in time. And instead, Red should play H2 plus 3 for a balanced development of his pieces. Now. Usually, Black will continue with R9 equals to 4 to power pressure on this flank. Consolidate the central file. And in such similar circumstances, the horse is moved to the edge file so that Black will now be prepared. Uh, this will free this cannon to move. This will be similar to the first variation. And after a few trade, a few rounds, both colors focused on the riverbank rank uh, where the, the major battleground would be. So after several rounds, uh, <coughs> Red will use his double red chariots to shield and to give provide backup for the for his horse and cannon to attack. Now, Black, in, <coughs> in contrast, Black will still link his cannons up and still provide a very formidable defense whereby there will be no major or obvious uh, weaknesses for uh, Red to attack at this point. Now, this is a very... Uh, now, the situation on the board will be very tightly knit. Uh, there will be little room for error because any in such situations, a slight error would mean that uh, it would mean that the op opponent, if you were able to exploit the weaknesses, would have significant significant gains. So usually, red would black would continue with our uh, equals to six to guard this file and also to offer a trade of material. And the horse will now be placed in a dilemma. Now, if he captured the horse, this Red would have used up one, two, three, four moves to trade for Black's horse that only made has only made one move. Consolidating defense, attacking the chariot, a trade of cannons so that this chariot will gain development. Red will consolidate his defense. Black will develop his chariot as planned. And the black would draw first blood by charging the the carry across the river. Blockade. And overall, this would be an even situation for both colors. Now, uh, this would be an even situ situation for both colors. But compared to the first bot, black would seem to have been able to make more gains in this situation. So that is why, uh, when comparing this variation and this variation, uh, it will appear that this would be the more favorable uh, variation. But uh, 
as can be seen, this is a relatively new opening variation in Shangqi, which only became popular maybe one or two decades ago. So uh, I'm still trying to master some of the fundamentals of this opening system too. So I hope you have enjoyed this short video. If you like the work that I've been doing, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.